making salt and pepper shakers in clay. This is the shaker we'll be making today. Roll out your clay to about an eighth of an inch thick. It takes about a quarter of a pound of clay per shaker. It's made of three pieces. You'll use four of the side pieces, one of the bottom, and one of the top. Before you out the pieces, what I do to give texture to the clay is take a piece of lace material and lay it over the clay and roll it into the clay to give it texture. I want these to look like stone and this particular piece of lace seems to do that pretty well. This is what the texture looks like. Now you cut out the pieces. When you cut out the side pieces, you'll cut a bevel the two sides, not the top and not the bottom, just the two sides. There you can see the texture on it. I turn the texture side down and then I use a dental tool to cut a bevel about a 45 degree. It doesn't have to be exact. This is just to help the two joints, the two pieces join together. This is the piece that comes off the scrap. Keep that because we'll use it later. Now, remember to keep those pieces. Now we're going to join two sides together. A little water on them. I use a rubber tipped tool to push the clay together so that it meets nicely and joins. Then I take one of those pieces of scrap, put it on the seam to reinforce it. Again using the rubber tool. second side on. Again, putting the scrap in to reinforce that seam. I'll turn this so you can see it. Now stand this up. And I do this so that I can check those seams that I've just put together, making sure that they're joined well. Don't worry about whether or not you take off the texture, because we can put that back on later. Lay it back down and let's put that last side on. I usually have the clay a little firmer than it is today, but I don't let it dry out too hard because um, when it's when it gets too leather hard, it's it's harder to join these seams. So I like it to be a little soft. The seams go together much nicer if it's soft. Sometimes that side will sag down. You just push it back up. All right, now we want to reinforce those seams too.
And there you see the bottom. Now we're going to put the bottom on it. Take the bottom piece. And I use the lid off of a perfume bottle to cut the hole. I push in the corners just a little bit so those reinforcing pieces of clay won't get pushed away from those seams. And then I turn it upside down and I round the edges. Makes it go in the shaker easier. I turn it over, cut the, lid, the hole for the cork. Again, this is a perfume top, perfume bottle top. And wet this, and put it in. I put this about a quarter of an inch down. That'll leave room for the outside part of the cork to stick out so you can put it in and take it out to put the salt and pepper in. This is a blunt dental tool. that I'm using here. And again, I use those scraps to reinforce this thing. You can see it. Now we finish the bottom. Clean out the top. Square it up a little bit. Don't be too overly concerned about the shape of it. It's supposed to be made out of Done, so I just want to make sure that the seams are reinforced. And now we're going to work on the top. Now I get a piece of sponge to put the clay on. This helps when I'm poking the holes in it. I use a piece of wire coat hanger. On the salt, I put four holes. I was making S's, and it's too many holes. Too much salt comes out. On the bottom side, I want to clear away those little pieces of clay that poked out. I'm going to clean these up so the salt or pepper. Well, in this case, the salt will come out. Now we wet it and attach it to the top of the shaker. I smooth this down. I I like to make it where the side the Seams don't show, but it really doesn't matter, however you feel about it. I even round the top of it so it doesn't have a sharp edge around the top, because this is supposed to be like it's been cut out of stone. Once you've got it all together, then you get the lace back, and this is where we put the texture back on the parts that we have handled and smoothed out and I put that stone texture back on it and again it doesn't matter you're not trying to match it up because you want it to look bumpy like a piece of stone
Okay. There it is. That's the finished piece. Now this is the finished shakers with the glaze on them. They have not been fired. This is what they looked like before they were fired. And here's what they look like. This is the finished shaker. And again, I want to thank you for watching this video. And I have several others on YouTube.